Hi guys, welcome to another video from Rich Co Photo. Today, something else has arrived for the DJI Osmo Pocket. And here it is, the DJI Osmo mount. This is obviously a third party one, it's not the one they actually make themselves. But as you can see, it's got a tripod mount in the bottom. It's got a slot there so you can keep it on charge while it's on a tripod or a mini pod. Looks like it sits in there, it's quite velvety inside. I guess that gives it a bit of grip and you can see the hole goes right through to where you charge it. And it's got a little screw here. I guess this will get loose over time, but if you loosen it off, Osmo sits in there and then you will do that screw up. And it looks like it's got the old GoPro mounts at the back. Right, let's put the Osmo in, see how strong it is. So let's see how easy the Osmo fits into this. Now I reckon that, that you need to line these up, obviously, so you've got that, you've got the power inlet, and all we're doing is just pushing it. It's quite snug. Into, I guess that will loosen up over time. I don't know if you can see, you can actually see the charging bottom of the uh, DJI from there, the Osmo Pocket. And then just as an added bit of security, I guess you can do the screw up. Well, that's pretty uh, That's pretty well stuck in there, to be honest. I don't think, wow, that's going anywhere. No, not at all. Excellent. So let's see what it looks like on a couple of mounts. Once you've got a Joby tripod like this, you'll be able to stick that anywhere. And it fits really well, it's nice and tight. That's not going anywhere at all, apart from it being a bit unbalanced. <laughs> But that's that, that's how it fits on there. Pretty straightforward. This is a GoPro suction mount, so you can put that anywhere that you can get this suction pad onto. And as you can see, it sits on there rather nicely. Went in really easy, no problems at all. All fitted in. And that's what it actually sits. I've got it leaning back slightly like that because I didn't want it to fall forward because it's a little bit unbalanced, obviously, if I haven't got this sucker to anything. But there you go, that seems to work pretty well. And I wanted to try this because I'd really like to get the Osmo in the car and do a couple of driving videos just to see how it goes. But anyway, as you can see, all fits quite nicely. Now all in all, I think this is a really good little clip. I'll put the link down below so you could um, go and buy one if you want to. And probably if you've got an Osmo Pocket, you would have been looking for them anyway. Um, but it seems really substantial. It's definitely 3D printed because you can see all the lines and everything on it. But it does a great job to hold that still at present. Um, and I think it was only four or five pounds, it wasn't very much money. So as you can see from the back, you'll be able to connect that to any GoPro uh, mounts that you have at present, it all fits in quite nicely. And it also allows it to have a bigger base, so if you wanted to put this down anywhere now, you could just put it down and it gives it like a bit more of a firmer base than when it's actually stood on its own. See, I can push it around and it's fine, um, rather than when you're just using the bottom of the base of this. And also again, like I said earlier, allows it to charge, so all looks good to me. I'm sure we'll get through, see what happens over the coming weeks. Uh, I'm not sure where, how long this will last, but it's, you know, it's cheap, cheerful, and it actually does a job rather than spending, is it 23, 25 pound on a DJ own branded one. There are other options out there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully over time, we'll give you a bit more testing, see what it's like, but I think this is gonna do Rather than buying the branded stuff, there's plenty of other options out there for your DJI Osmo Pocket. Thanks again, you have a great day. Don't forget, subscribe and like.